So if you're going to do a project on your boat like I am for lithium LiPo 4, the, the topic of relays is really important where it's not usually that important in battery management. Um, the problem with LiPo batteries is once they get to a certain voltage, either lower or higher, you're going to have a problem. So you need to have relays take some action to shut things off because we want to stop the energy. So I'm going to go over some basic things that you might already know about relays and just kind of show you the relays that, that are involved in the new LIFO battery management system. So in the simplest form, a relay is just, uh, just like one of these switches that I have that I'm turning on um, all my, my bench with. Um, but then they've, they've sort of evolved um, to this sort of a thing where this is a relay module and um, it allows low voltage um, signals to trigger a, a, a very high uh, a, a switch capable of handling a, a, a very high voltage. So these are the these are the very low thin wire DC connections and we use that to trigger um, something on the outside. Um, the other thing is they have these things called opto isolators that isolate the low voltage from the high voltage. So you can, you, this circuit is totally isolated. So when I flip um, this, um, this circuit, it actually will um, be isolated from the low voltage side. So for instance, this relay is trying to, 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 to flip a switch in, in one of these BMS wires on the Sterling um, battery protect. So what's happened then is they've kind of developed um, these things called MOSFETs that are transistor in the transistor family that don't have physical switches but the switches are in silicon and um, these MOSFETs are very low power and they're capable now of driving a lot of energy so what what they've done is they they create um, they put these MOSFETs into battery management systems that um, that that switch between these cells now battery management systems has to monitor all these four cells in my battery and they do that with MOSFETs and again I have a battery management system I showed you before but the, the MOSFETs are particularly useful in creating these high voltage and low voltage disconnects that we use at the pack level now remember um, on my pack strung together is uh, th running about 13 point uh, you know two right now but but the individual cells are running you know at something like you know three three point three um, but this allows us to make some very um, uh, good decisions in cutting off our batteries before we you know deplete them and as lifo batteries uh, you get them um, both depleted uh, less than 10 volts and they just uh, you lose your total investment and then they do thermal you know then you've got sort of thermal problems where you can burn them up at um, somewhere around 3.6 depending on your um, what situation you have so they have um, a smart smart MOSFET sets in them. So they have like this, these sorts of devices integrated in here, waterproofed them, and then they allow an internal, um, an external relay capability that I can use this, um, this this uh, very nice 100 amp relay um, just sort of like I use these relays so in, in fact I use these relays right here to actuate uh, this relay here the smart battery protect 
and um, you'll see all kinds of other relays but um, what I'm thinking about doing is just kind of having a BMS and this to cut my low voltage off and then actuating um, actuating using one of these inputs um, with, um, with 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 this sort of thing uh, relay system and and shutting it shutting down the the um, smart battery protect so you can also online find these sorts of voltage sensing relays and um, you could like as I have done uh, use the relays here in um, in in actuating the BMS lines which I've shown videos about so this is a really nice little tool and it isolate again it isolates all your boat electronics on this side and and from from the from the interaction with the BMS so you're not likely to blow anything up if the if the um, BMS lines over here end up giving back negative voltage you know you're you're unlikely to blow up your boat electronics here which um, it's not much right you're just reading you're just inputting your battery voltage here and you're inputting power right here so that's my uh, short uh, talk on relays